Over the last seven years, the O2 Arena in London has welcomed more than 1.8 million fans. The Barclays ATP World Tour Finals will host 2016's top eight singles players and doubles teams, and the race to qualify is on. Milos Raonic has confirmed his spot after a great run in Asia. It will be the Canadian's second appearance at the O2. It's a great feeling, and I remember the last time uh, I was able to qualify two years ago, it came down to the last match, and it's a little bit of a relief to get that assurance a little bit earlier. Also recently qualified, the icon of Japanese tennis. I'm very excited to, to come into London again. It was my big goal to play this year again in London, so I'm very happy to be there. Raonic and Nishikuri joined three superstars who've already booked their tickets to London. Next to Grand Slams and Master Series events, this is the biggest event we have in the sport, of course. It's against all of the top guys that you're playing against and you really want to win against them. I love the atmosphere, I love the tournament. It's a great place to play tennis and I'm really excited to start this year. As the O2 approaches, the battle for the final places intensifies. Can Rafa Nadal make the season finale for a ninth time? Moment of magic from Nadal. After stellar seasons, Dominic Thiem and Gael Morfis are aiming to make their debut on this unique sporting stage. Oh, that's incredible! And Thomas Berditch remains in the running. Oh, yes! Moments of brilliance! And this year's countdown has an extra twist. Can Andy Murray chase down Novak Djokovic in the race to be world number one? There's been signs of vulnerability from Djokovic, but when you look at the rankings, you know, there's still a lot to play for at the end of the year, and this has been Andy's best season to date. In the doubles, Mahou and Herbert, Murray and Suarez, the Bryan brothers, and Lopez and Lopez are all confirmed at the O2. And that is what they have come to see. Hold on tight as the Emirates ATP race to London continues. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we welcome the European Open in Antwerp. And there's more action from the Stockholm Open and the Kremlin Cup in Moscow. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com where you can cast your vote for the atpworldtour.com Fans Favourite Awards presented by Moet and Chandon. And chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, now on Vixlet. See you next week.